How to use the DALI number no. 2 to generate perfect images. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks of how we can get started. Welcome to TechPress. my name is Steven, and let's just get started. So, here into the openair.com, what you want to do, if you already know what DALI number no. 2 is, we can just jump straight forward into the video. But just to tell you really, really quick, DALI number no. 2 is an amazing place platform that was generated for the OpenAI, where you can generate almost any kind of image only based into Geo's text description. So that means that I can tell DALI number no. 2 to create an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style and it's going to be generating something like this and two, three or even more different variations of exactly the same text description. And there's much more information than that. Let's say that I kind of don't like one, two or more elements into my images so I can edit the images and I can of course manipulate the image until I finished and find the perfect images. So what I want to do before I can get started, I can strongly suggest you to check it out some stock artificial intelligence images so you can figure out how you can use those images at your favor and you don't have to spend money because OpenAI of course they refuse stuff that are totally for free Free, but I believe that if you wanted to use the actual DALI number no. 2 for a really long time, it's going to be taking a, a few credits and not all credits are totally for free. So you don't want to spend everything in just one day. You want to be focusing into exactly what you're actually looking for. So if I wanted to generate something really realistic, it's really perfect. So um, sometimes if I hit into my history, you might be noticing that it's going to be taking a few different variations, a few different prompts to get the result that you want. For example, this image that we have generated into another video, I didn't want to have this kind of metal and we didn't know what exactly what was that. So we tried to delete this part by using some generation frames and we didn't actually the computer like understand what we we're actually looking for. This is one way of how we can look out for perfection inside Dialog number two. But once again, this is gonna be generating lots and lots of credits. So I don't wanna mess around with that. What I want to do is to first of all, open a new tab. And here I want to look out for stocked AI images. And here's gonna be appearing actually a lot of sections where I can look out for a stocked image. For example, you have the Stockton AI, we have the pexos.com and much more. So for example, we found this image. So this is just an example of what we can try to find. I wanted to create something like Superman in a motorcycle. So instead of creating this into DALI number no. 2, I look out for a generated stock photos. So I can just use this image to make a variation of what I'm trying to look for. So here, let's say for example that I wanted to do is to delete these actual boots, I wanted to change this arm, I wanted to change the head, I wanted to change the colors. So that is how we can get started without having to spend absolutely anything into DALI number two. Now that you have generated your image, what you wanted to do is to go back into DALI. I'm gonna hit into the dashboard and instead of choosing a description of a text description, let's go for upload an image and I'm going to hit into edit my image. So here to edit my image, what I wanted to do is to delete the face of this guy and I wanted to create something a little bit more different. So let's go for Superman head and hit into generate. Of course, what I want to do is to give a little bit more of generation frame so I can have a little bit more space. Hit into generate and just wait a few seconds till DALI number two gets the result for you. So now, for example, I do have several options. So I think like the best one is, of course, this one, and it doesn't look so bad. So now what I want to do is to try to change the boots. So let's go for this actual uh, element of edit once again. And as you can see, we do have different variations. I think that like, they're not the accurate file I was trying to look for. I believe that it doesn't look actually like too broad, too good. So this is actually something that it needs to happen so I can show you the next thing that we can use for the actual generation of my account of my actual image. So what I want to do is to go back. I want to hit into my history. And here into my history, I want to look out for, let's say like the most uh, or the best image that I can create by DALI number two. I'm gonna hit into save. And now what I wanted to do is to look out for another application that can be helping me to create a variation of this one. So if I make the actual variation inside the actual DALI number two, 
what is going to be happening here take a look into all the actual crates that i have i only have four of them left so if i go and create a variation of this image it's going to be generating a variation of all the elements that i do have inside here but that doesn't mean it's going to be improving the image that i do have here because so just making variations and i don't want variations i want to make this a little bit more detailed with more descriptions uh, let's say that i want to change the leg i want to change the arm i want to change more stuff i don't want to make variations because i'm just going to be spending my credits and i don't want that so let's open a new tab and look out for more AR. For example, there's Stable Diffusion, there's Metjoni, there's so much more that you can use. In my case, I'm going to stick around with Stable Diffusion. I have this for elements, but as you can see, it's like a little bit broad. I need to specify what I'm actually trying to look for. I have this one as a comic, I have this one as a comic as well. The other thing that you can do is to uh, actually download this image. Go back into Dali number two, import the image that you have just downloaded. In my case, it's going to be and generate the variation of my image. Now, take a look into the examples. We have example number one, have example number two, the three, and the number four. So the elements are, of course, inside here. This is going to be helping me to track or create the perfect um, artificial intelligence image. So what I want to do is to download this one. And now I want to show you another artificial intelligence ask I'm helping us to do like the best results. Now I believe that at the moment Metjoni is into maintenance, but I'm gonna be showing you an image that was generated for the actual Metjoni. So I hit into my downloads and I'm gonna be showing you this Five Nights at Freddy's image that was generated for Metjoni. So I'm gonna just open this a little bit more and take a look into the actual elements, take a look into the details, take a look into all the elements that were created for me. And I have created the description is actually really, really easy. The lights, the backlight, the resolution, everything was created, of course, by Metjoni. So Metjoni selected the image that I have just generated and convert that into a new tracking code. So I have now a new result that I can use later on. And lastly, what I can totally just do is to look out for the best prompts for the daily number two. There's a lot, but really, really a lot of websites and blogs that can be helping you to create the best prompts to get the best results. So I'm going to go, for example, here where it says prompt number two and take a look into all the elements uh, that were created for us. And here, for example, it says Earth after human extension, a new beginning, nature taking back the planet. Let's paste this actual prompt. And instead of choosing the cyberpunk lights or the middle of space, I'm going to delete all of these elements. Now let's go for Supermine uh, writing a Hartley Davidson. And there we go. Now we have much more details and amazing generation images that we can use later on. So this is how, guys, we can be like a little bit more ready to get started with perfect images art artificial images generator. And just in case you have the actual doubt, what you can do is to go into your history and take a look into all the images that were generated for you and you can download out all of them anytime, everywhere. With that being said, we have now reached into the very end of the video, so hopefully this was very useful for you. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great tools for the OpenAI and more artificial intelligence generator. Thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully I will see you next time into the next video.